Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a super quick video where I show you how to make a GIF in Photoshop. So here is one that I've just made. So if you are planning to make a GIF, it is good to shoot in high speed on your camera to get as many images as you can. Then if you have a tripod, you are going to find that your images are going to be much more aligned. Whereas I handheld on this one and you can see it's not the steadiest, but I still think it looks good and I'm still happy with the results. So you're still going to edit it in Lightroom like normal and then export them from there. With a GIF, you are going to want to have a social size image. You're not going to want to use a full resolution image. It's just too large for a GIF and the file size will be too big. So if you don't know how to social size an image, I have got another video on my page where I talk about how to export images from Lightroom and sizing. So feel free to check that out. So you're going to come into Photoshop and you're going to go file, scripts, load files into stack. Then we're going to browse and it's just going to open up into my folder where I've put all the images that I want to use. So I'm going to highlight them all and I'm going to open them. There is the option to attempt to automatically align the images. Now sometimes I find that it works amazingly. I did one recently and when I clicked it, it just aligned the images perfectly. But sometimes it distorts the people in the background and I tried it with this one and it did distort it, it didn't work. But it's always worth just giving it a try to see if it straightens it up or whether it doesn't work. So I'm not gonna do it on this one. I'm gonna press okay. And they're just gonna load here at the side. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that they come up in order which they don't always, yeah, so not tens, <laughs> tens at the top, which I don't want. So if you bear with me just a minute, I'm just gonna quickly line these in order. Just missing number two, there it is. Perfect, okay. So you're gonna wanna make sure you've got your timeline tab open. And if you don't know how to find that, you go window, and then you just make sure you've got timeline ticked. So if you click your first image, you're going to want to put this onto create frame animation rather than create video timeline. And then you're just going to click the button. Just one is going to appear here. So then you're going to want to click this little menu here and go make frames from layers. And then they're all going to appear. Now sometimes they do come up in reverse order and here actually they are in reverse order. So it's easily fixable. You just click the menu again and you just press reverse frames. So if I press play, let's just see what it's doing already. So it's already doing its thing. You want to make sure this says forever rather than once so you can just get an idea of what it looks like. It's running a bit fast for me. So if you click the first image and then hold shift and then click the last image, it's gonna highlight them all. And then you press here and then you can slow it down so that the, more up, the higher up the number, the slower it's going to run. So let's try 0.1. See, for me, that's so much better. 0.2 is going to be too slow. Mm. Oh, it's because I didn't change them all. I'm teaching you, and I'm not doing it right myself. So <laughs> let's try 0.2. Yeah, see, it's just a little bit too slow. So I'm going to stick with 0.1. I think that was the perfect one. Yeah. So you can obviously crop it, make any other changes you want, but I'm happy with that. So there are two ways to export a GIF. So you're gonna to wanna to go file. Oh, sorry, it's because I clicked on this image. File, export, save for web. bear with, it's going to catch up. So you're going to want to put it on original, not optimized. Make sure this here says GIF. And then you're going to want to press save. I think I'm just going to put it in my on in my desktop folder. Let's just wait for this to save. So then the other way you can do it is by going file export, render video, I'm 
I'm just going to name it GIF YouTube. Um, render. Although I'm not sure why I saved that because I don't think I chose. So we'll let that export and then I'll just show you the difference between the two ways that I did it. So the first way I exported it as a GIF and the second way I exported it as an MP4. So sometimes like Instagram doesn't like GIFs all the time and sometimes it prefers like an MP4 video. So this is the one that I did second where I did render video. And this is an MP4. And then the other one I did is a GIF rather than an MP4. And when I click on it, it will appear like this. Um, but but when you play it, you know, in the right way, <laughs> it will play as a GIF. So you can convert it and move it. But they are the two ways to export it as either a GIF or an MP4. Usually if I'm putting it on Instagram, I do it as an MP4. And also just to note, the GIF file is much larger than the MP4 file. So I think that is everything I want to tell you. And I really hope that this has helped. Please let me know in the comments if I can help with anything. And please do subscribe because I've got lots more videos planned. And thank you for listening.